K11 is the next block, and it is a modified block, so the, the difference, there's a different layout in the book, and the book simplifies it a bit. We're going to expand the center section so that we have some um, bigger pieces in the center, and then this isn't overlapped. It's more of an Ohio star configuration where these three pieces make a, a flying geese. So we're going to work from this, and... I wrote center on this block because it was really close in size to these four. So when I sorted my, my squares, I wanted to make sure that this one was designated as the center because it was smaller but close. So I've got my pieces laid out over here for this block. And I'm going to be working from the, in, from the inside out. And essentially this is a nine patch assembly. We're going to assemble this center unit, and I'm going to work with this whole thing. So the basic is I'm going to assemble this in a row, and then I'm going to assemble this in a row, and this in a row, and then put, connect this, and this is going to be like an on point. Once I assemble this center section, I will assemble these three pieces, and these three pieces, and then put this together as a row, and then this rectangle will be assembled, and then these attach to it this rectangle will be assembled and these attached to it and then these whole rows will be put together and that's how you're going to break down this block for assembly. For my basting, I'm going to try to make sure that my tags don't interfere with as many points as possible. So here I've got a point going to be on a, the base of a triangle and then I got these two guys to worry about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to base the outside so that my tags go away from the center here. So when I've got all this going on in the middle and my tags are gonna go away from the center. So I'm gonna do this side first and then these two. So these two tags are gonna go this way. Um, for this, I haven't quite decided yet, but I'll work with what I got here in the center. And then once I get out here, I can make a call on the flying geese sections about how I wanna look at my tags. These. I'm going to do this one first and then these sides so it's going to be exactly the same on this as it is on this so that my tags go out. I just got to decide what I'm going to do with my tags on these white uh, triangles here on the side. So I will get started with my center assembly. So I have assembled and basted and assembled this corner and I have basted this section and then I haven't done that yet but I just wanted to show you how I basted these and assembled these. So put these together. My arrows are all pointing the same direction for my fabric that I'm not convinced is directional, but I'm still following along anyway with what I did on my block prep. And then I'm going to assemble these in a row, and then I'll assemble this in a row and make this one block. So I've got these two rows assembled. And now I've got these taped to assemble these. I've got this basted so my tags are going out again. And then I will connect these into the row and finish my center square. Center square all assembled. And now on to the three piece unit here to make the flying geese that I can attach to my center square. Now that I've got these basted, I can attach these to each other. I've got um, this one I basted the outside first and then the side, so my tags are going to go towards the outside of the block. This one I did the uh, sides first before I did the hypotenuse, and these are going to nest right into this section here once I've assembled this. So I've got these taped so I can stitch them, and I did the other side as well, so I was basting and had my glue pen out all at the same time. So I'm going to get these two sections completed, and then I can attach them to my center square. So I've got this side flying geese unit all connected, and I'm going to do this one. i got this taped, and I will connect this one, and then I will be able to connect all three of these to make this center row. And now that this right side flying geese unit is all connected, I can connect these two to the center. So now I've got the entire middle row all assembled with my points in a line. Next I'm going to assemble the this flying geese section 
and then attach each of the side squares so that I can make this row attach to this row and the same thing up here. So I've got my bottom row flying geese unit assembled with my squares basted and now I'm just going to attach each square to each side so I can complete this row. So I've attached my bottom row to my middle row and so the next sec section is to do the uh, top row the same way I did the bottom. I'll do this section, connect the squares and then connect the top row. So now I've got my top row all connected and just to connect it to the rest of my block. So I've attached my top row to my middle section and now I have a completed K11 block.